Okay, so I'm gonna fix this thing once and for all. This is part of my sprayer boom. And this angle aluminum keeps bending. It's not strong. I wanted it because it's light, but I've just frankly had enough. So I've got this angle steel. I'm just gonna cut two new side pieces and drill them out the same way and go for it. So all I need to do is cut two new side pieces at 22 and a quarter. So I've measured out my angle iron right here. I need to give it a little hee-ho cut. So I need two of these, just the same exact size. Super easy, folks. Are you kidding me? What is going on here? That's a pisser if I've ever seen one. Come on, that bolt was on there so dang tight it broke. I gotta go back to Ace, get a new one. Dang it. Freaking sucks. And it's probably about that size right there, quarter inch. Maybe. Yeah, quarter inch. This needs to go on here, like that. So I'm gonna drill this from the inside. That's not gonna be easy to do at all, folks. Ow! Oh, oh, ow! Oh, man, oh, man. That hot thing, that metal shard right there, burned a hole in my pants and burned my knee. Ow, that hurt really bad. That really hurt. Okay, so I've got the side rails on there. Just need to put these front pieces on here like this. So I used this pump all last year and it worked fantastic. And then I went to pull it out this spring like a month ago and I could not get it to work. So I called up North Star or I called up the people I bought it from, Northern Tool. They put me in touch with North Star. They gave me a free pump, no questions asked. So I just open the box here and check out what's inside there. Some extra fresh 48 hour protection deodorant. I'll take it. And I got a pump and a catalog. All right, so I got the pump remounted. I just need to install these barb fittings. So the pump was free, which I was super stoked about because I paid good money for it and it failed. I tried to fix it, folks. I'd hook it up and hook up the the uh, electrical and it would just short out. I undid all my wiring, hooked it up straight and it just kept shorting out. So called them, told them that was what was going on. And they said, okay, no problem. What's your name and address? Looked up my order and they said, okay, done. So they sent me a new one. So I was thinking, you know, that's great customer service. No questions asked. You didn't even have to do anything. They just sent it right over. So if you guys are gonna make one of these boom sprayers, you gotta make a three quarter inch line from the inlet tank to the pump. I didn't know that and I still have a half inch line. One of the viewers or subscribers told me that you need three quarter inch line because it surges a bit without it. And so, if you get the three quarter inch line, it doesn't do that. So I'm gonna modify mine. I'm gonna change all my fittings from inside the tank all the way to the pump to three quarter. Let's put some water in there and try it out. This needs to go here like this and then it should fire up. Oh, she's going. That's good. Turn the switch off. Okay. So there, it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna fill this up with water, maybe put a gallon or two in there. And then I'm gonna put my Teenex in there. I'm gonna put some RGS in there. I may put some super juice in there. And I'm going to go do a little bit of spraying, do a spray job. Okay, so I've got a couple gallons of liquid in there, water, and see if it works. That works. That's awesome. Oh, oh, she died on me. It just died on me. I wonder if it blew my fuse. So this is a 7.5 amp fuse. Looks like I blew it. So I'm gonna get myself a bigger fuse. Here's a 15 amp fuse. Stepping it up from a seven and a half amp fuse to a 15. So everything checks out and it's looking good. We've got some 
looky lose over there watching me. What's that guy doing? Why'd you get that camera out there? Hi. How are you? Thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna start with clear water. I'm gonna start with five gallons of water. And I'm gonna use this little measuring cup here. It's one gallon, five. Okay, so there's five gallons. And it looks to me like it is one, two. On the second ring down, so if I plan on one gallon per 1,000, then I need, and I wanna put in, say, six ounces of RGS per 1,000, I need to do six times five, because it's five gallons, six times five is 30 ounces. And that's kinda how I'm gonna go with it. So first, you fill up the buckets about two and a half gallons. This is how I do it, at least. I need to get my PPE on. So you don't want to take any kind of risks or anything like that when you're working with chemicals. So I'm going to go in the garage, put my PPE on, and then come back, and then I'll start measuring out the stuff, and we're going to go for it. Okay, so I think I'm suited up and ready to go. So the first thing I'm adding is T-Nex. I need four ounces per bucket this stuff is incredible if you've never used this stuff i promise you this stuff will change your freaking life aerate nine ounces per thousand so that's nine times five is 45 so i need 45 ounces 45 ounces per every five gallons I'm gonna put a little surfactant each in each one of these, just to be safe. Probably don't need it. Just a little bit. Microgreen. So 10 to 16 ounces per thousand. So that's a freaking ton. So I'm just gonna spike this stuff. Gonna put about that much in right there. Okay. Here's my super juice. I'm gonna put a little of that stuff in there. Put a little super juice in each one of these. Be careful with this stuff, it'll stain. Okay, so I got the super juice in there, microgreen, Teenex, uh, aerate, and I think that's it. Okay, so once you get all your formula in there, just fill up the bucket to the five gallon mark. Make sure you got all your PP on if you're gonna go like, if you're gonna do this, folks. Once you get all your buckets filled up, use an agitator. Make sure you get a thorough stir on all these liquids. Got a lot of stuff going on in here and we wanna make sure it's thoroughly stirred up. What? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm spraying some stuff. On the lawn. Why do you ask? Because you're all suited up. Yeah, I don't. I don't want anybody to get mad at me for not wearing all the safety gear. Oh my gosh, safety, Sally. Okay, so I got it all mixed up. Now I need to put it in the sprayer and start spraying. So I got five gallons in there. Gonna put another five gallons in there. So I want to dedicate this video to all you safety sallies out there. This one's for you. So I'm done with that section right there and should have about two and a half gallons left in the tank. And I'm looking in there and it looks like I have about two and a half to two gallons. So my calculations were pretty accurate there. So I feel like people are always making fun of me saying, oh, you don't wear your PPE this and PPE that. 
Ryan Nor, he's the worst of them. He's weak. He never wears his ear protection. I've got all my PPE on, guys. I'm always trying to do what's right. I always follow the label. I always follow the instructions. This is such bull crap. Because I always get those comments down in the comment section saying, you suck. You don't follow your PPE. And I'm like, seriously, people, I cannot win in this situation, guys. No matter what I do, everybody complains that I'm either wearing too much PPE or not enough PPE. And I'm like, seriously, put on your PPE. We just need to be safe here, guys. So the last thing I'm gonna do, folks, is just rinse it out, do a triple or quadruple rinse, run it through the pump, one rod of water all the way through everything, rinse it out, dump it out, just do it about four times, and then you're done. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.